What's up, world? This your boy. You want to only money moves with your boy Mim 2.0. We get another video on this channel every day. We strive for financial excellence so you guys can live a better and prosperous financially free tomorrow. As you guys know, on this YouTube channel, we talk a lot about a multitude of different topics from vlogs to current events, your city to my city, credit. How to use debt as leverage, how to acquire different types of loans without using traditional banks, how to acquire real estate the non-traditional way, money and relationships. We mainly talk about relationships on this YouTube channel because every man knows that who he chooses to have an intimate sexual relationship with will have a high impact on his soon-to-be financial status. So guys, the topic of today, we're going to be talking about how in the past 40 or 50 years, black man's style has not changed. So before we get in this video, I just want to thank everybody who's been rocking with your boy since day one. Like I said, if it wasn't for you guys, this channel wouldn't be as great as, as it is today. But without further ado, let's get straight into the content. So, style. A lot of people don't understand how important style is you know you can take a you, you could take a multi-millionaire put him at some homeless clothing dirty clothing and sit him on the corner with a sign nobody would expect this man to be a multi-millionaire so style a man's style opens doors that he couldn't he couldn't normally open you know um uh with just being f just free balling when i say free balling that means dressing how the normal person is dressing dressing how everybody else is dressing so if we're seeing if if, if the majority of the world is saying that thugs so-called thug life. You know what I'm saying? A lot of black guys who are committing these crimes are wearing Jordans, you know what I'm saying? Baggy pants, too big of, big of clothes. They don't actually know what's, what's their actual size and stuff like that. Then what will happen is, is that, now as I tell you, you will be judged. You'll be judged by society to be to to fit into the narrative of that description even if you're not a part of the of of that as a whole so we have all seen those old school pictures where you had little boys dressed up in suits styling you know what I'm saying styling profiling um and now, days you got you, you got tons of black men in America who have for one never never worn a suit, for two never worn a tuxedo, for three never don't know how to go to the store and pick out the right dress shoes, you know, um, and a lot of times. What's happening is is that a lot of these guys are messing up their income. The, 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 they're messing up their potential relationships with women and people because everybody judges. You know what I'm saying? If your style ain't right, when you could have got that sexy chick that you was trying to holler at, she's going to be like, you know, no, nah, I ain't, I ain't going to mess with you. You know, or you was qualified for the job, but you walked in in some jogging pants, you know. So now instead of you getting paid twenty, twenty, twenty eight dollars an hour, they're going to give you 15. You know, um, it's crazy when we have it's crazy when we have young. And old African-American males. And you can't tell the difference 
between the two. You know what I'm saying? They both dress uh, dress alike. You know, usually you will be able to, you, you can tell where the money is. But when it comes to black culture, nobody knows who, who like, 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 the way guys are dressing, nobody knows what you got, what you're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, because what we're seeing, we we have seen a lot of guys go off and go get that nice hood outfit, you know, jeans with the design, you know, white tee, you know, black tee or something like that. It's, you know, but we're not saying nobody with collar shirts. We're not saying nobody out here with button ups. We're not saying nobody with Stacey Adams. We're not saying, we're not even seeing guys out here using the correct cologne. You know what I'm saying? And that's the number one reason why I praise Kevin Samuels so much because Kevin Samuels, every video, he has some type of cologne that he was talking about. Okay? So, for beginners, guys, simple. Burberry. Simple, simple Burberry cologne. You know what I'm saying? can change the dynamics of your outfit. And it'll make women sit back and, and actually be like, oh, man, black guys don't smell this good. You know what I'm saying? Like, this guy smells good. Like, guys are not wearing cologne. Like, just the little things like this can set you apart from the other people. So I either say you, you go Burberry, you know what I'm saying, as a beginner, you know what I'm saying, or you go Fasashi. You go just the basic Fasashi. You know, basic Fasashi. And this stuff lasts a lifetime. This shit, this shit lasts a couple years, man. I'm not saying drench yourself with this stuff or nothing like that. But if you got good cologne, you don't have to drench yourself with this. All thing you got to do is spray it a couple times and you'll be lit for the whole day. You know, we got to get our style our style so we can get the wild and profiling out here guys but guys that's all i got for this video um you know man it's been, it's been a pleasure if you ain't subscribed make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel uh this your boy your one and only money moves with your boy mill 2.0 post a live from an undisclosed location coming to a city near you over and out